for those of us in the audience who don't want to kill themselves, what is shiny hunting? Shiny hunting is a thing in mainline Pokemon games. It's when you capture and segregate differently colored animals. Cosmetic differences are the only true variation, so you aren't at a competitive disadvantage if you don't have one. It's just a biological one. It's okay to be a peasant as long as you know you're a peasant. There are multiple ways to get one. Random encounters. Egg. Overworld encounters. Egg. Random glitchy bullshit. Take a peek. Peasant. Shinies were introduced in Generation 2. And like three seconds later, they said, Man, children fucking suck. Spoil it. Game Boy Pokemon cannot be taken to the Game Boy Advance and onwards. So those shinies you might have earned are cool, but they are useless trash and should be discarded as such, just like you, you goddamn peasant. So now that we're all up to speed, I really hope you like seeing grubby hands press buttons and do some anonymous bullshit, which is a weird thing to enjoy. But you do you, as well. If I have to go through this, so do you. Why am I being such a baby right now? Well, I wanted my very own shiny. Not one that the game gives you, mind you, uh, but a shiny legendary, a valid use of the master ball. Knowing that shiny hunting was made easier in later entries drove me to want to do this the quote unquote real way. Honestly, Lugia shiny isn't even that good. But ah oh well, I thought I, is it not about the experience? I pondered, surely it's not gonna take that long. I contemplated. This is why humans were never meant to think. First of all, what the hell even is this? Where does the patience come from? You're telling me that if I turn my DS on and off thousands of times and then sit through the same animations over and over and over again, that there's a good chance I'll get screwed over and get nothing? In return, just, just absolutely nothing. Well, obviously I'm gonna make this my personality going forward. Game fuck said, wouldn't it be funny if people willingly participated in our sick fetish and actually tried to hunt these things? How far do you guys think these stupid dum-dums would go? Listen here, game freaks. I might be stupid, but I'm not dumb. One out of 8,000 resets, they say. You know how long it takes to do that, well, pull out your protractors. Pull out that weird sharp thing people used to stab me in school with. Let's do a seance and figure it out. Th theoretically, one shiny reset takes like half a minute. Theoretically, this adds up to two resets per minute. However, this equation does not consider the fact that you will be on your deathbed from bottom while resetting. This is where you add the wall into the parentheses. The wall has the quadratic potential to seem so interesting that it shall intrude on your mind and distract you from your resets. Then you, then you fall asleep. Um, Pythagoras theorem, cosine. Your head smashes into the wall. The wall falls asleep. So in conclusion, it's more like six resets an hour, but let's be fair and go with two resets per minute at uh, maximum mashing speed. 10 minutes is 20 resets. 60 minutes is 120 resets. 600 minutes or 10 hours is 1200 resets. 10 hours of this, and you want even at a quarter of the resets needed to get so-called full odds. Full odds doesn't even guarantee that you encounter a Black Tom Cruise. So 8,000 resets nets you roughly 70 hours. Or in mathematical terms, half a battle pass. I have to admit, it's fitting that shiny hunting requires you to press the A button so much. Cause, uh, 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 <laughs> it is Christopher Bridges that you can go past full odds and not be guaranteed a shiny. That doesn't make sense to me. 17,000 resets and this guy still had to hear <coughs> over and over again. Some bumbling baboons even get the shiny and proceed to place them in a box because it didn't possess the proper nature. That's fucking eugenics. It's gotten to the point where I just want to play Pokemon, like normal Pokemon, but I just, I can't do that. I can't enjoy normal Pokemon. I could technically deconstruct Lugia, beat the game, go back and continue sitting on the edge. 
But the thing is, I don't see the point of doing that. Not having Lugia after all this time throughout the rest of the playthrough would itch the f*** out of my brain and remain there rent free. I started playing Omega Ruby back in October, or at least uh, I tried to. I played a few hours, enjoyed the game somewhat, but it felt iffy, you know, iffy. Like I, I wasn't fully engaged with the experience because almost the entire time I had the Pokemon game that I was ignoring in the back of my mind and so I didn't bother continuing Loras. I'm not entirely like this with all the games that I play. For example, I finished a bunch of Halo games in preparation for Infinite, but I, I haven't really played Halo Wars 2. Checked out the demo, just it remains the only Halo game I've never finished and uh, somehow my brain is fine with that but in the case of pokemon not being able to find this shit head makes me want to erupt and i don't like erupting meaning i just have to keep my head down and keep pressing the dumb little buttons and I don't want to do that anymore. These chuckle fucks got me to wrap a goddamn rubber around my DS. I'm on the Dead Rising workbench trying to improve the speed of my resets. Don't you understand? No one has problems worse than me. At this point, I might just kill it. I might just murder the beast when it finally does shine. I'm shooting myself in the genitals by continuing to do this so I can't speak for everyone. We all have different perspectives. We all come from different walks of life. But Pokemon fans, all I did was word exactly what you do when shiny hunting. I can't help that it sounds exactly as dumb as it is. To be totally fair, shiny hunting isn't all bad. Probably the biggest appeal of shiny hunting is how well it plays into multitasking. Whether you are a functioning member of society who has downtime at their job, whether you are watching a bunch of TV, movies, whether you are talking to your friends, or whether you're doing it while playing another game. It's because of this garbage that I got quite into this war of mine, which is a must play. Being this tragic representation of what can happen during a cruel, evil, grueling war? It perfectly mirrors the pain the average shiny hunter goes through like no other piece of media has. This war of mine has so much downtime, so much time spent doing nothing that logically speaking, it should absolutely be a flaw of the game, but I don't feel that way at all. It's a perfect game that can be fully experienced while shiny hunting. And at the end of it all, you do get an adorable little Slave. To Game Freak's credit, this has become less and less of a hassle as the generations went on as they added in better rods, trinkets, events, and so integration with Pokemon Stay Away From Me, which is apparently the easiest game to get shinies in. Even they are telling you guys to chill the fuck out. To my knowledge, it is controversial to state that making it easier was a good thing, which I kind of understand. You want this historically difficult thing to feel rewarding when you get it. But at the same time, the floodgates have been thrust open, so it really shouldn't matter and it's always been random. People have obtained a shiny through pure dumb luck with no effort on their part. At this current point, they clearly just want players to be able to actually obtain these things. And listen, I hold the same attitude towards games like Destiny or Borderlands or Warframe where you need to get on the 24-7 Game of grind. Get a rare loot to boost your defense by one point. At that point, what's the point? Grinding to an insane degree has always seemed super monotonous to me. Like, aren't you just gonna use that gun to further repeat the process anyway, and then discard that very gun when you see something that is shinier? Admittedly, shiny hunting is entirely optional, while on the other hand, you can be at a disadvantage in the aforementioned titles for not having those pieces of gear and weaponry. It's outrageous to me that a large and active community ever formed around this. How did people not lose interest? How are people even able to give a continuous shit? It's not worth the time lost doing this that I could spend doing something else, such as playing other video games or thinking about other video games or writing about video games or destroying video games. Sure, you can say fun is subjective, but repetition with no change or possibility to change 
is just a static line. It's the most objective meaning of barring that comes to mind. And yeah, there are other methods, but those other methods still require you to rinse and repeat, or they require you to become a criminal. I suppose I haven't tried shiny hunting in games like Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet, so maybe my mind would change if I played those. In conclusion, this has never been a fun activity that I personally look forward to. I suppose it is more about the journey. Stupid dumb journey. If you are a shiny hunter, I do not respect you as a person. I don't get it, but I do get it. And I do respect you as a person. I think shiny hunting sucks complete and utter ass, but I am glad that I did it because now I know that it sucks ass. And that's what life is all about. Finding the things that suck ass and seeing the ass sucking to the end. So what the hell even is my point? What do I hope to gain by telling people their hobby sucks? Well, they should stop doing it. And secondly, there shouldn't be any shame in getting an easy shiny. This shiny is not more legit because you got it in a harder way. At the end of it all, these creatures will be equals. In a fucking body bag dismantled by a guy in a suit. That's a guy in a suit. So don't repeat my mistake. Don't have principles. Be a bitch. If this is just your hobby, if you enjoy doing this, if you just wanna catch your cute clad animals, you should be disbarred from positions of power. People like you should be experimented on in a lab. I cannot sleep knowing that you animals are allowed out in public. There is no but.